<clears throat> I'm uh, going to give people, as always, a few minutes to get in here. This time I might give them like three and a half minutes as opposed to the usual two. Just because uh, I haven't tweeted it. I only tweeted it out once today. So. so. Uh... Godcast 31 dash octane Sam is now live. But you got to get Go the green up. just octane at. I tried, dude. I got uh, <laughs> my army of Twitter simps to go after him, and he blocked everyone. And I like offered him thousands for the ad, and he just literally blocked me. Okay. I just looked up Wayne Smallman. Wayne Smallman, bro. <laughs> Fuck that guy. He's a he's a entrepreneur, uh, internet entrepreneur from fucking London or something. Dude. Let me go check him out, bro. I hate this guy. British British businessman. I offered him a thousand strain of ignorance. Offered him. Thousands. He's not a good businessman then, because he's not like he's getting interactions on. He's got zero people. interactions. That's what I said. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to be that guy. I help small like... businesses deal with big business problems. Yeah, dude. Mm. Man couldn't sauce me to at man. His yeah, ad can't be his. Ad, why was it an at Wayne Smallman? Like, who's looking up Octane to fucking look up? Guys, can't believe this shit. So I'm saying, bro. He Yo, blocked you me. You see his header. His header is hilarious. Helping small businesses with big business problems, <laughs> and it's like a fucking like a group diagram on a whiteboard. Oh, this is social dude. communication. <laughs> I just got PTSD again, bro. I haven't heard this name in years. Hey, by the looks of his Abby, he would beat the crap out of you. So I oh, he would testing. fuck me up, dude. Yeah, He's sure. an old man that cares about his Twitter ad. He's a shit business man. I offer that man racks for that ad, dude. How much? Dude, how much are you talking, bro? It was, um, like, it was like I think it was like two or three. Oh snap! His business is called He's Octane. I see. His business, his whole business model is called Octane. Ah, ah shit! That makes more sense. You know yeah, how does. I got the nameless hat? I uh, hit up the dude, and he was like, nah. And I was like, come on, man. I'll pay you whatever you want. And he was like, all you got to do is just donate $500 to the Cancer Foundation. I said, bet. So I did it. He gave me that. Wow, what a good guy. Right? Man couldn't sauce me nothing, bro. He just insta-blocked me. He but said, there, a great guy. There is an uh, artist in Kenya, and his name's Nameless. And he's one of the most lit Kenyan artists. So I get tweets from, like, a bunch of Kenyans all the time, like, saying, when you drop in your next album, bro, I'm like, yo. <laughs> At Nameless Kenya, dude, it's not me. <laughs> oh, you guys shit, let out dude. some tweets? Uh, oh, yeah. I got you, I got you. Right now. Sweet. We got some people Just, in the chat. Uh, uh, it is at Octane Sam, not Octane. Let's just welcome dude. some of the people in the chat, bro. Of friends? course. What's good, chat? Dude, do y'all uh, use Twitter on your desktop? Yeah. yeah you. Did you use old Twitter, like the Chrome plugin? Uh, There's a plugin. I think I yeah, that there, one there was. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. oh, they. Oh, you're auto updating the new. I wish I was on Twitter yeah, version got, like uh, 2014 still. Not yeah, alive. they got rid of it. That's what that was. The, it was a super old version, it was like three years old, and it, you could download it on the Google plugin thing, and it would just be like an old browser layout. And then they just mm -hmm. completely got rid of it three days ago, and my whole vibe is slaughtered. It was Man. so much better back then. I don't know what the hell happened. I, there was an update where it. You, it like brought old tweets to the top with like a little line below it, and that's when Twitter on the desktop started going downhill. And that's well, an old update. Twitter made the Twitter power move, bro. like was it two years ago, giving it dark mode, or a year ago, changed my life forever, bro. On the desktop, I don't know. Wait, where dark mode on the desktop? Wait, 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 you don't use dark mode, bro? <laughs> wait, nah. how do you put that shit on? Look, click the little three dots, and then yeah. click uh, display. display. Yeah, and then I use. Oh. Oh. Lights out's nice, but I use them, bro. <laughs> oh, the, wait, this is revolutionary, bro. I use that on Twitch and on here because my wait, eyes. This are... is rev. You have it on Twitch, right? Oh wait, I just linked my own Twitch channel. I'm fucking. Ooh, not you ideal. Ha <laughs> you have it on Twitch too? Yeah, 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 yeah on Twitch. Okay. <laughs> I just linked my own stream. I'm fucking. <laughs> it's all good, bro. We'll let it out again, and we'll start in like a minute. There you go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What's good, everybody? Sorry, bro. Usually, usually, usually a YouTube viewer, first Twitch experience, time to get turnt. <clears throat> what are you sipping I like on? that. Yeah, I like that too. Well, welcome uh, everybody. Appreciate you guys joining us. Those of you watching the live show, much love and appreciation. Those of you on YouTube, I appreciate you checking out the video. And those of you on Spotify or iTunes, you didn't go the extra mile, but you know, you're watching. So <laughs> not I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, as you're on your way to work or if you're in Did it go the extra mile? <laughs> or if you're cooking. But you know what? You want to go that extra mile? Load up the YouTube video and give us a like. And if you want to go all the way, hit subscribe on Twitch. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. But hey, oh, now that the plugs are out of the way. Oh, one last one I got to do. Shout out to Prediction. 
they Shoot. help us a lot with the show with post production and all that. So big shout out to Prediction. Appreciate all you guys over there. Tony and my guy Aaron, much love. So why why is Octane already getting cooked in the chat? When is Sam yeah, hitting the barber? Because I, mean, I just got a haircut, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold on, like, Sam. You just got a haircut? <laughs> Nah, I got a haircut like two and a half, like two weeks ago. Okay, so that's not just get a haircut. I get a haircut every ten days. So I okay, know. I can tell, bro. You're looking, you're looking fresh over there, bro. crispy, bro. Listen, man. Wait, you were about to cook every, me. every ten days. <laughs> you were about to cook me, bro. I was about to because you dude. said I just got a haircut. Oh yeah, no, it was, it was like a week ago. <laughs> dude. I uh, my hair got the longest it's ever been from like when quarantine started to when I got my haircut, and it, I was, dude, I was, I was off the deep end, bro. I couldn't even look myself in the mirror. Dude, I was uh, I had to cut all of quarantine. I never had that struggle, but I'm sorry, man. That's that sounds terrible. <laughs> you didn't try to take the shears to your own head, bro? Abs, nah, bro. I, I don't. I'm not coordinated enough to do that. I think you could do it, bro. Up. I think you could do it, dude. Just get some Andy's clippers and just go to town, bro. Uh, I mean, ask Johnny. He cuts his hair, his hair that he has left. Every it's a, it's a little bit different. Don't act like I can't grow a fro either. By the way, that's just whoa. Just your shit would look like Stephen A. Smith, though. Oh, okay, you can, but I you're still grow one. One. You're voluntarily bald. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I, I shave my head like every day, every other day. Let's see oh, a shit. quote I'm hashtag I'm, or a quote I'm voluntarily bald. Dash bald. <laughs> <laughs> it would just look like Stephen A's. Like he needs to get rid of his uh, shit too. His hairline's pushed back to the middle of his head. Anyways, yo, can we right, talk man. about that real quick? <laughs> right before we start the show, <laughs> unemployment has packed glowing. Wait, uh, I key. I don't know if you have a little ring light or something, but you're glowing. <laughs> nah, that's just the, that's just the, well, like, the monitor. <laughs> he looks good. He's got hella hype, bro. He got laid off from Optic. Life is chilling, dude. He's he's absolutely vibing. Well, now that comments are away and all the plugs and everybody's all over in here, appreciate you coming on and taking some time out, Sam, from your rigorous scrim schedule. Rig, yeah, bro, rigorous. Fucking taking zinks in the boys. <laughs> dude, did you guys see my tweet today? No, what was it? <laughs> oh, dude, that? I tweeted... Uh, what was it, man? I was like, when it was like a tale of two stories, and it was like the day or like yesterday when uh, Eamon woke up, he's like, "Do I have to get out of bed to stream or to scrim Zinks?" And like none of us replied, and he didn't oh, get up yeah, for scrim. Oh yeah, see that. <laughs> Three hours later, <laughs> Seattle tweets the fucking retirement tweet. <laughs> he said, "Does that mean you oh, have to get no. it f bed to play Zink still?" Like he yeah. literally, <laughs> he, did, he literally he just like he didn't just woke up. up and and that's what that is. There was nothing after that. He just he didn't show up for the rest of the day. Damn. Well, we'll get into that stuff later on, but we're going to kind of paint the picture of, you know, this whole year kind of um, and talk about it so we can circle back and, you know, start from the beginning if we need to. So going into this year, obviously you had an immensely uh, successful team last year and a great year overall individually and, you know, as a team. Um, going into this year, I'm sure you had some high hopes knowing that you're still one of the best ARs in the game um, and forming the team. How did that go down? And like, did you get what you wanted going into the year? Uh, definitely get what I wanted. So uh, coming off of last year, you know, obviously we had a lot of success with Hunter T, and um, like normally, like the, everyone kind of freaked out that like we didn't try to stay together, or there was no like public discussion about what happened with the roster. And uh, essentially, what happened coming out of last year was Austin and Ken, I guess, like had a conversation that they wanted to play, and then. Uh, I knew Austin, like, wanted to play in L.A. or, like, just, like, a major city, like, New York, something like that. And I didn't know if Austin and I would continue to play because, obviously, like, betting on the 2AR meta is, like, kind of a 50-50 kind of thing because last year was really the only year that it has ever worked. So I don't really think that there was a possibility of Austin and I staying together. Um, so him and Ken went together, and then uh, me and Ian went, and then... Preston immediately, like literally, as soon as we lost champs, Preston was on Atlanta, basically with Chris <laughs> and like that whole that whole roster. So that was like always a thing with with everyone from Phase. So it was me and Ian left, and um, I wanted to keep playing with Ian. You know, he's one of my favorite teammates I've ever had in my entire life. And uh, we were just like trying to figure out some options, and we were trying to construct some rosters here and there. There was a lot of things that that fell through. There was like some Dallas stuff. I could have been on like a weird mix match roster there. Um, there was an opportunity that my old 100 Thieves team had for all five of us to stay together, but that ended up falling through because uh, Austin and Ken were both in LA already at the time. So there was a lot of things before I even joined Seattle or like the organization came together whatsoever. And uh, me and Ian, obviously, again, we're a team of two. And everyone, I don't, it was, it, it was like a really weird situation. I think everyone already knew the rosters that they wanted going into the following year which is this year obviously and i really like didn't put much thought into it because i figured that there would be some form of 100 thieves staying together but like once austin and ken like 
kind of told me that they were doing their own thing. I was like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> now, now I got to go out and, like, figure, like, you know, try to make a roster. And like I said, I spent, like, maybe two weeks uh, hitting people up. But at that point, it was, like, it was already too late because, you know, everyone already had team of twos, team of threes, Damn. like, with an AR. And there was just, like, there was a lot of, of bad timing on my part, I could say. So, um, Jerry obviously didn't have a team. We had a lot of success before. So, we were it was me, him, and uh, Ian. And then... From the very, not once at the very beginning, but like when I originally started to try to construct the roster, it was Alec and Dylan, and I mean, like everyone knows that at this or at this point, and they got an offer from Chicago to go play there, and they left with, I want to say like three to four days until we had to submit a roster. So me, Ian, and Jerry were, and there's like also a lot of stuff that that happened there, but I'm not going to get into it. So, um. So me and Jerry were sitting in TeamSpeak, and we were like, "Well, we are super giga fucked because there's like we li- like we were literally pulling up like a full blown Wikipedia of like COD players that were like we were just like fastball <laughs> like like be like bro we were just like dude everyone has a team they're like we are screwed and uh, we were looking at the TeamSpeak and at the time I'm just gonna, Brian was gonna sign with Florida at the time because obviously he lives there he to Korea yeah mm-hmm. he was gonna sign with Florida at the time like literally the following day. And uh, we were in TeamSpeak, and I looked down, and he's in the channel underneath of us. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go, fuck it, dude. I'm just going to go ask Brian. So we go in there, and he's like, yo, you a team? And he's like, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we just like, we were just like, all right, cool. We got Brian now. And then um, for some reason, no one hit up Damon, or like Damon wasn't even an option to a lot of people. I don't know what was going on with him or like Chicago or like anything about that at all. But Jerry ended up hitting up Damon, and he obviously didn't have an offer for whatever reason. So that was our roster. Damn. <laughs> I think so we I heard from, from you, Prim before that he wanted to stick with Damon, and that's yeah, why Damon was, uh, even with Prim the entire offseason. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot like of, like, like I said, there was a lot of Dallas stuff. Like, there was a, there was a lot of rosters and a lot of back and <laughs> forth. Um, there was, like, a, a roster with, like, me, Dylan, Kyler, Illy, and, like, Jerry or something like that. Like, there, was, there were so many different iterations of rosters within those two weeks that just, like, never actually worked. until. So, Sam, um, did you omit anything from that story in the beginning of the year? You leave I omitted. Out. Were you I offered omitted, a spot like, on a team that you declined? No. Okay. I like. I was offered organizations, but a spot on like a roster that I wanted to play on that like I thought could win. No. Because I, I was seen- I, like there. There was a time that I could have been on Optic, but it wouldn't have worked because again, it would have been like me brand. It. I was going to be in there for cap, but again, like there was just so many role clashes there, and like. I, I didn't think that it would work out that well, so I didn't say no, but it, like it wasn't real, real opportunity, but it was discussed. Okay, so like you didn't get any offers from like Empire Phase. Hunts no, I, I was gonna be, I was gonna be on Dallas for. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's it's like, like I said, it was like said, right? yeah, yeah, like yeah, was, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of like random mix match, mix match rosters with like Dylan and ATL Gary didn't offer you. No, ATL was a full blown roster as soon as champs ended. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we literally, received like, literally, literally, I received an anonymous <laughs> tip, Sam, while you were speaking, that you got an offer from ATL. Anonymous uh, tip. Declined. They can only be like, five, they can only be like five people. That is one million percent cap because I would have accepted that in a heartbeat. Okay. I did not get I received I an anonymous get an tip. That. He got an offer from yeah. ATL and he declined. Did not get that. Wait, what, okay. do you think Sam would have accepted it if it wasn't a super max offer? Wait, if my team, if I'm Mike, absolutely. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I, have a, I have an army of fucking minions, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> nah, that like that ro- that Atlanta roster was like literally a team the day champs ended. So that was so, never even an option. The way it sounds, kind of beginning of the year, you know, sum everything up is you know it's kind of a clusterfuck, and what you really wanted to do fell through last minute and left you in a tough spot. So you kind of yeah. really didn't have any options, you know, once that fell through your initial plan. Um, you know, with Alec and Envoy, um, other than to make the team that you have, really, right? So pretty much, um, yeah. Got that, back like, into a corner. Does do you think with like you guys struggling, you like circle back to that thought often, like every gosh, day? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no uh, I, I, I still give Alec shit about it. It's like, dude, this entire year is your fault. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I give him shit about it. I don't like. I care, but uh, I mean, I, dude, if I was him, I would have done the same thing. Like the doing going to Chicago in that situation, it was just a better move on his part for branding and how good the team was. So I can't, I can't fault him for it. At the end of the day, you have any follow up to any of that, John? I mean, I mean, no. I mean, they they ended up forming on paper what was like a pretty decent roster. I think going in, we all knew that the team wasn't going to be that good at search. 
Yeah, I mean, but, we, we, were we were like we're not fucked from the beginning, but like we were just on the yeah. back foot for the moment that the season started. So exactly, you guys were a bit on the back foot, but then you guys formed a team that people were pretty much putting in like the I guess would say like the second tier of yeah, like the preseason predictions. But then the season started and. You know, things are going downhill for you guys. Yeah, no, we're definitely in like the it's like a B tier for sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when did you know like there was going to be either a lot of work that needed to be done? Like, was it off the jump? You knew that, or no? Did you just um, it? Probably the first event. Like, we were struggling pretty hard in scrims, and like that was the beginning of the year. I didn't really attribute that to the roster being bad. It was more just like growing pains with the game. So, uh, first event, like, we, we didn't play that well, and that was, like, Minnesota or something, and, um, like, we choked two series floor in Toronto. We were pissed, but, like, they were game fives, like, we could have won them, so at that point, it was like, okay, like, yeah, the roster isn't what we wanted, like, we're going to weird spot right now, but, like, we can salvage it. And then we went to London, and we got absolutely peed on, and we beat the Gorillas, and, like, that was the only thing that mattered, like, we lost to Dallas twice or something, <laughs> so... Um, at that point, we were like, okay, with the new format this year, like it's really, really hard to be bad a lot because, like, if you're if you're bad for a stretch of time, like you're screwed for the rest of the year you're because screwed, of the format. Yeah. You're you're fucked. So at this point, I'm immediately stressing. Like it's two events in. I'm like, dude, like if we continue to suck, like our seed for champs is going to be horrible. All this stuff, and so I, I was like in my own head at that point about yeah. the roster and like what had happened. So probably like London was when we dropped in. Like that was the point where I was like, all right, we need to figure something out here. Yeah, yeah, because I I think I was like they had to have known like right away because in the beginning of the season it was sort of like everybody in scrims was saying Seattle's terrible, dude. Like I don't know how yeah. they're so bad. It's We've like, been ass like, since day one, brother. I mean, you, it's like when you I mean at least when I was coaching, you guys were one of the teams that everyone knew they was just constantly bitching about the game. It feels like I mean everyone knows that not every pro likes this game, right? Like that's not a secret yeah. to everyone. But it seems like you guys were amongst the teams that bitched the most. <laughs> about the game and like <laughs> uh, yeah i mean i'm not i'm not gonna come out here and lie bro absolutely <laughs> like, yeah i mean there's, dude, it's just it's just so much frustration this year i can't even like i can't even sum it up so when did the first idea like come to your mind about we need to make a change asap and like was there any plans that you had that kind of fell through or anything that was even remotely possible like, in terms when of did like that roster begin? changes when did that yeah. begin and what what were the changes that you had in mind so it, it began at london when we sucked and at that point uh ian was like super like not into the game at all like first he event, huh? yeah no it was, that was the first actual yeah, event. first, first actual minnesota, event. minnesota yeah. was like the the launch of yeah. the opening or whatever so yeah. that like ian was like super out of the game like he really wasn't taking practice that seriously like he i don't know like he was like trading stocks like mid scrim shit like that like all those memes <laughs> So, like, it, it, at that point, we knew that something needed to change. Like, we needed just something because, again, like, if you were bad for a long time, you're just screwed. So, we uh, we benched Ian for Casey, and we got better, like, really, really better. And then, like, for whatever reason, just, like, we got on one day and just all the practice went exactly backwards. Just for I don't even – I can't even tell you what the reason was. But we just got on one day, and every, all the progress that we had made since that roster change was just gone. And then, um, whatever the event was after London, like we just lost again. We beat the Gorillas, like LOL. So like it, it, it felt like we were making progress, but it wasn't showing in our standings and like beating other teams. So I think there was just a lot of pent up fr uh, frustration because like we made this change, we went through this whole thing benching Ian, and it like just didn't work. Yeah. So it just started to compile on top of each other, and then um, you know like the back and forth with with Ian and Casey, and like yes, there were options for roster changes. They just never never worked because the structure is the first year of franchising and roster changes like aren't easy to do i don't know if i like johnny probably know but i mean yeah there, i don't think there's been one other than pristini to chicago i don't think there's been one actual move this whole entire season and that yeah. well uh, and like, we zero, zero to london but i think both yeah. those teams just like released the player right like yeah like uh yeah pretty much so we, like from where we were starting in terms of like salary space and player trading options like we were again just like on the back foot so trying to go out and get players like we've been doing that we're still we've been doing that like we're not <laughs> sitting here getting shit on i promise like i don't it, it was just we tried so many different things and all of them have failed so it's it's a real tough spot to be so in. what's so your good. what's your mindset right now now that you're what's the, what's the team now so it's you it's, me, it's just slacked proto and pander yeah. 
Whoa. And, yeah. That's a little probably. bit different than your 100 Thieves team, you know? When you look just at Just a little, yeah. No, <laughs> sure. just, yeah, yeah, nah, just a little I'm not bit. trying to shit on, like, the on nah. Proto and stuff. These guys are, like, pretty good Call of Duty players. It's but just, they're playing yeah, with difference team. between Yeah, there's a difference between pretty and good Call of Duty players and, like, like oh, competing to win championship. Yeah, today players. was our uh, today was our first set of scrims for with Nick, so that was, a, Yo, that was a good time. Just think about all the subs in the league and like how much those subs lucked out like by you guys just being ass. Like, dude, I, dude, everyone was oh, clowning dude. us for picking up like competent subs. Not like because Casey's my friend, obviously. So everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's a fucking friendship league!" Like you just picked up people because they're your friends for a free fifty grand. Like no, dude, like we literally need these fucking players. Like we, they need to play. Yeah. Sure. Like we're the we're the only we're not the only team, but like we're one of the teams in the league that are like genuinely using our subs. You don't have a coach and a content creator on the bench, so it's like <laughs> it's like a, it's a weird it's a weird <laughs> spot. A weird so, spot. To, don't worry about that, but it's a weird spot to be. I'm tired of everyone talking shit, man. Yeah, they all said it was like you picking uh, up your best friend, bro, blessing them. I them like also, yeah. I think I mean people uh, are saying that a lot, but I also don't think that people understood how difficult it was going to be to make moves going into the season. So no even one if they had uh, like subs that they didn't actually intend on using, they figured yeah. we would just make trades like you have in the history of Call of Duty for like 12 years and just say, hey, you guys want to hit him and him? But it does not work well, out that I, way. I, I, and again, then you kind of just back to like, stuck sucking like in traditional sports. Yeah, it just goes back to the first year of franchising. There's like growing pains within organizations and roster changes and like how to handle salary space and like actually maneuvering trades. Like it's nowhere near what it was in the, the previous years. So like it's so, just... I guess that deems a good question. Sorry. Like going into like future years in the construct of teams, do you think you would like almost talk to the rest of the guys and be like, maybe we should take a little bit less salary in case our team is asked and we need to make a change? Like, <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> from seriously. from my experience this year, absolutely. Yeah, like because the it, it, the salary cap and like the ability to make moves has huge. impeded this entire year. Like mm-hmm. everything, we've tried to make so many different things happen, and they're just impossible. So it's like. It just, I mean, it just sucks. That's from your experience, but to talk about the other players. What about the other people and other teams who are having success with their teams? Oh, yeah. It's going to be yeah, a lot harder to get them I mean, to yeah, I can't, I, can't, I can't speak on their behalf, but on mine, yeah, I'll absolutely take less money to, to have some maneuverability if this ha- if this that, situation happens again. That's pretty much what's making it so difficult for you guys is, is that. like I know all of you guys are getting paid a, a decent amount. It's got to be well, it's, it's hard that, it's, it's that and some don't other have, stuff. Don't they have yeah. – I don't know if it's uh, – I can't make it public. I'm not sure if it has been made public, but – Pretty sure they have some interesting clauses. Oh yeah, in there. there there are some interesting clauses. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's that. that are not in other teams' contracts. So yeah, that is uh, that is one of the other reasons. <laughs> Damn, I want to know what this clause is now, bro. I'll, I'll poke you after this is over. Right, poke me <laughs> after it's over, bro. He's like, I don't want you saying this shit. On the <laughs> nah, show. yeah, I can't. That, that, nah, there's some there's some things I can't come on here and talk about. That's, and that's definitely one of them. So how has management been throughout this whole process? Like they're definitely Dude, obviously not it, pleased, but are they supportive or oh, are they kind man. of on the stance I, of like, you guys need to figure this shit the fuck out? Well, it's a little bit of both because like they understand the situation from the beginning of the year. Like they knew that we didn't get the roster we wanted. So immediately they didn't expect like anything crazy, but like just the amount of like roster changes and like trying to maneuver around like the politics of this league this year like our management is ridiculous because like they just they've been trying so long to just try to make things to work and i just like i feel kind of bad because it's just like every day they're just like <laughs> something else like what about this guy like what about him? like you know so they've been really cool about it and they've been really supportive like honestly i figure they'd be a lot more frustrated than they are but i mean has, that's just they're has anyone on your team like gone to them and just demanded to trade themselves as opposed to like making a move to get people to your team? Has anyone been like, oh, we sat down, I um, want to go to some like somewhere yeah. else. Like, so we sat down. I don't remember the exact timing of it, but we sat down as a team, all five of us, like grown ass adults. And we were like, look, guys, this shit is not working. Is there anywhere that you all are willing to go? Like all of us sat down, like we were literally like, OK, like we need to blow this shit up, so trade for anywhere. picks, like, <laughs> like blow the roster up, trade for picks, like. <laughs> we sat down we were like okay is there a team like is this possible like salary space like can we go here can we do this and like all five of us like weighed our options and the answer was no and that so, was that was that pre was that pre covid yes that was that okay. was pre covid cuz that yeah. cuz i mean part of part of the seattle team's thing yeah. is all of them live wherever the hell they want to yeah. live right and like yeah, so exactly. app has a kid in florida yeah jerry well, has like, a house yeah. you and joey live together like if you did decide to do that that would have meant like for at least some of the teams you would have to be you'd like who's gonna agree to go to Toronto? Right yeah, now? exactly. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? that, was, that was that was when That's land true. still existed so yeah, exactly. like that, there was like a whole a whole like come to jesus meeting basically right there <laughs> to just like attempt to, to figure something out but nothing came out of it so sam is it safe to say like the year is chalked for the surge <laughs> shut up bro i will Wait, i will, I will <laughs> no bro it's not chalked i'm gonna i'm gonna get yeah, every fucking day and i'm gonna try bro and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but at least i can say i tried that's I mean, all that matters, man. Is it so I take it you're not running a sub anymore, right? That didn't last very long, no. did it? It lasted three days. Three days? Did you yeah. guys get smoked? Uh, we played Chicago one of the days. I was absolutely having those idiots. And then... Um... <laughs> With the sub, bro? And then we yeah. No, no. Um, so we scrimmed Chicago and then, like, three AM teams because we only played... We Of the three days, we actually only played, like, three series. So that's how that goes. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> Damon retired. Now I'm running. Well, anyways, I mean, Damon <laughs> retired, right? And yeah. but before we get into like him retiring, what he meant to COD and stuff, um, his performance on this game obviously wasn't that great, and he hated it, and he said it. He didn't think he was good, and that's why he sat down. Um, do you think like him not being on the team will allow you guys to be better now? Like, do you think somebody coming <laughs> like, in like breath of fresh air will help you guys? I. I don't want to say no because it's Damon, but like I, I like truth be told, I'm so out of like options on how to get better this year that like maybe like maybe Damon retiring was like maybe we'll get better, dude. Like truth, like this is me being 100 percent honest with you guys. Like I truthfully don't know. Like Damon hated the game. He, his mindset about practice and like just playing the game. Period. Just wasn't good. He didn't I'll, enjoy it. He wasn't having fun. Yeah. So like maybe Nick coming in like. Let's get better, guys. Like, maybe that's what we need, dude. Maybe. I don't know. Well, the reason yeah, I asked that is because I, I was you're wondering. Gonna, you're, I mean, on I paper, there's no way you're going to take it of Damon for Proto is going to make them better. But maybe the oh, mindset. Yeah, of course will, not. But and maybe like, I know Proto has always been, like, super aggressive. Maybe that'll help you guys on that map. Open well, something like the, up. The, if we're actually talking logistics, like, Casey and Damon switched back and forth based on comfortability on the flex roll. Like, they would use ARs on, like, different maps like, on what they were feeling. So now that we have Nick, who is a literal dedicated sub, it makes, like, the transition of roles and like actually playing the game a lot easier because Casey is just permanent flex now. Mm. Did it blow your mind when he told you he was like retiring? That should blow yeah. Your mind it, like like I I've known I didn't know he was going to retire this year, but I've known that he didn't want to play anymore because like I could just tell like his <laughs> his approach to the game just like again it just wasn't good and like he he didn't it wasn't what it was before. So I figured after this game would probably be the time for him to do it, but. Like, he wasn't getting on for scrims for a couple of days, and I was like, he was, like, awake. It wasn't like he was sleeping and just, like, not talking to us. Like, he was literally, like, tweeting. Like, he just wasn't he just wasn't playing the game. I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> he's either benching himself because he doesn't want to play anymore, which I understand, or he's, like, retiring. So the third day comes, and he, we're just, like, he's awake, tweeting, like, Dame, are you good? Like, we're, he's just not talking to us. And then um, we get hit we get hit by our management, and, like, they had a conversation with Dame, and he's just like, yeah, I'm done. Well, hold like, on. We, so there was no there was no talk of benching him or anything. He just basically did it no, all he, on he, his own. He 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 hundred not our decision whatsoever. It was on his own merit. He literally just retired. Like there Wait. was no there was no benching. There was no waited out. He literally retired. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm just imagining That's a Damon. Damon thing to do. He's been thinking yeah. about it for weeks, yeah. probably events, and he just he's like, "Fuck this!" I'm not like, sure to be honest, really like, I think yeah. this is something that Damon's been thinking about for a long time. A hundred percent. It would like if because he I, plays so many other games, like yeah, just nonstop. Like if, I don't, like obviously I don't, I don't know everything. I don't know like Damon's mindset about this, but like think about the last couple of years, like World War Two. He loved the game at the beginning, hated it, stopped playing for me. LOL, we sucked. And then, like, yeah, BO4, the they won an event at the beginning. And then, like, he admitted to me, like, he didn't really care about the rest of the year. Like, there's things just, like, weren't going well. He didn't, like, playing the game. Same thing this year. Like, we started this year, like, on the back foot again. And he liked the beginning of this year. He liked getting better. And then he just, like, tapered off. So it's been a common thing for the last couple of years. And I guess this year he just said, fuck it, dude. Yeah. No, it's not, like, the World War II time, to, to your point. Like, it's not like he couldn't have gotten on another team. He wasn't oh, yeah. horrible at the game. He just chose he not just to hated. He just it. hated it. He hated the game. He Wait, just I respect like Damon for making that decision because obviously he doesn't like he doesn't like the game. And he's not as good as he once was. And he knows that he just doesn't want to get on and play every day and not perform. Yeah. I respect I mean, dude, that decision I, because like he could have easily just kept playing for years and collected a paycheck easily and just sat on a team and like not performed and stuff. So that's yeah. a that's a great I like that decision. I respect. Like, I don't. I don't know his mindset. And I'm not going to speak on it because that that would be wrong of me to do. Yeah. But like it, I'm I'm happy that he had like the state of mind and like the presence yeah. of mind to just say like I'm done. Like I don't want to play anymore. Like I can speak. So. I can speak on like my retirement. What goes? What happens is you start playing on a team that's worse than a team that you're used to playing on. So mm -hmm. I guess that would be 
Seattle Check. search for him, right? And then Check. you start you're in a position where you can't play with the people you want to play with, and you can't even do anything about it to get into the position to play with the people you want to play wow, with. Wow, that's three that's three checks right there. <laughs> hitting them all. So then yeah. every single day you're not even enjoying the the art the getting on and playing. Like you could have yeah. there's a time in your past where you just actually wanted to play. You're playing for free every single day. You get on and play for the love of it every day. Oh, and now that that's gone and those things are there too, it's like the the happiest Whoa. I've ever seen him when we were scrimming was when we switched into main AR. And like he was, he was having a blast, like relearning the game. Bro. Yeah, he was chilling. Like he was just doing what he wanted to do. He hated running yeah. the sub in this game. He hated it, especially with like all the GAs and like how the sub changed so much. Like he hated it even more. So like that was just like the the, the final straw that broke the camel's back. And he was like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm out of here." Well, to echo what John said, like yeah, all those things, and then also like you get tired, so you're like, I don't want to have to climb that ladder again. Like I've done it before. You know, I don't want to do that shit again. Like I'm at the bottom. I've yeah. been all the way back to the top. Are you? Did you read that message in chat, John? I just saw your. Yeah, face. like what? <laughs> what is this guy talking about? <laughs> this guy goes. Like, Who cares about Pac Man's retirement? Shut up, Pac. <laughs> so but no, yeah, like he just probably thought he's like, oh, I don't want to climb this ladder again, dude. It sucks. And if there was a time to retire, it would be now. So yeah, yeah but... like I mean, it, I feel like truth be told, I feel really shitty about the entire situation because like how he went out, man. Like he's literally the greatest Call of Duty player of all time, or arguably the greatest Call of Duty yeah, player of all time. And it's just like he went from the Optic Dynasty, like an, an incredible career, to just like uh, it, it, like Jordan on the Wizards. It, I mean, just bro, like, think about it. You finessed him twice, Sam. Like you joined his team. Yeah, 100%. you joined his team, and then you guys got clapped at champs know, while he dude. was on the desk watching. And he I comes back, he wins it, the event. And then you team I'm the up. I'm the I'm the Barlow Reaper, dude. The Barlow Reaper, bro. Really taking out can't goats. It. But what a spot to go out though. Like he is, I mean, t the most celebrated and decorated Call of Duty player that there is that has retired at this point. Like I think the next one yeah. behind him would be like something like Teep or something like that. Yeah, like, in his terms career of like, championships and exactly and and championships. Yeah. yeah, he's just he's up there, right? And it caught everybody out of like, off guard. This guy's an actual legend of the game. It's huge. And, I mean. Well, I, have a I think question. the first time. When was the first time you even heard of him, man? Back in the day, was it like oh. Black Ops One? Really? Like, I know he's been playing forever, but when he well, actually came, I played against <laughs> Karma and someone said Patty Pete knocking on the door. Yeah, Black Ops <laughs> One. I feel like yeah, Black yeah. Ops One. Oh, Black that's Ops One. Fun, Maybe like yeah, I don't, I don't remember him prior to that. Was he? Did he come from Xbox or? PlayStation. He came from. I'm pretty sure he started like World of War or something like that. Yeah, so probably, yeah, probably yeah, probably yeah, his like first he, Call of Duty was World of War. I feel like he yeah. played. A, I feel like he was one of the PlayStation players for a bit. No, it wasn't. It was World. War, it was COD Three. World of War. Right? Well, no, COD Three. Well, yeah, but. Ooh, that was the worst game ever. <laughs> oh yeah, he did play World of War. He was with like Merc and them who played that game. There was a what pros came from World of War was like Karma. Did you play back then, Sam? Did you did you pay attention? No, back I, then? I played I played Call of Duty, but I didn't play competitive or anything. Oh well, when did you start? Bo two. Bo two. Okay, so yeah, then yeah, you, you know, Damon, you, uh, you, Damon. <laughs> yeah, Damon. my first event, my first <laughs> event was St. Louis when he clapped you in finals. Ah, uh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you actually we, played with that event, bro. Great time, great time. Yeah, I got what I got second at that event. Oh, I fried you at yep. that event, bro. Unreal. Yeah, I took a map off you, bro. You lost to Am's prayers. It's crazy, dude. Then you came back with the Grim Reaper and you lost the you lost the CTF off AMS, bro. Wow, no discipline. Well, I mean, outside of like, obviously, you can't speak for him, um, like his mental space and stuff. But like his ability, do you think he should have retired? Like, he still, you think he still had some gas in the tank to like compete at a high I, level? I think I think his skill correlates directly to how much like he enjoys playing the game. Okay, hundred percent. So like he hated this year, so he's not gonna play well. Like he wasn't passionate about practice. Like he just didn't care. So I like you can't expect someone to play well there. But if he's like, if he likes his team, if if he likes the game, then dude, he's fucking Damon. I'm sure he's the like, he'd be great. Mm. Yo, so uh, Al, the whole chat wants me to ask you about gunless. So I'm just gonna ask it like this, <laughs> dude. I address this shit on stream. Right? <laughs> dude, okay. I said at the beginning of the year, I didn't want to play with Pierce because of his history with teams. I have no problem with Pierce out of the game. I like Pierce as a person. I get along with him extremely well. I don't want to play with him as as his track record reflects and like his tendencies as a teammate. I just don't like. Even I right can't. Now? Right now, I play with him 140 <laughs> percent right now. It's impossible. <laughs> Listen, I would bait. I would bait for Pierce in a heartbeat right now, but I can't because we can't get Pierce again. Anyway. Yeah. 
since at the beginning of the year, yeah. I said that like I just didn't want that factor on my team because like, as a, as a as a Call of Duty player, I can't have like that in the back of my head. Like, oh shit, when's this, like this guy's blown up a bunch of other times and like shit's happened. Like, Pierce, I, I, like yeah. you know, I, I, Pierce is fucking gross. <laughs> I I would gladly slide in front of Pierce right now if I could, but I can't. So Pierce is like I feel like Pierce matter. is like Rodman, bro. You just gotta deal with him, bro. Dude, you just gotta I, like, figure it like, out. Honestly, but it, honestly, like that Pierce thing got blown him. Dude, that Pierce thing got blown out of proportion so hard. I don't even know where it started. I think it was like, he said like on the eavesdrop or something that I didn't want to play with him. And like, that's where this started or something like that. But like, fuck it. Where's Pierce? I'm down. <laughs> like, I, like I, I, I don't know, dude. I just didn't, I couldn't like build a roster with like his past and like something could possibly happen and it was like blow up. You know what I mean? So like that was, that was all. Like I love Pierce yeah, as a dude. Makes, I have not I have no issue with Pierce. Sense. That makes He's gross as a player. He's disgusting as a player. I love Pierce as a dude, but like I just couldn't have like peace of mind knowing that like that was a possibility. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that was all. Like if y'all and now, and and now this Pierce is brought up in every single team, literally every time I get six, every single, every single time. Why don't you get gunless? Why don't you get gunless? Where's gunless? I would actually be surprised if if Pierce plays on a team, another team this season. I actually would. I don't even think Pierce would play here if he wanted. Like, <laughs> like dude, I would I would play with Pierce 100, percent but we can't. So can y'all motherfuckers stop tweeting me, bro? All right, you heard I it. There, can't do Everybody it. tweet Sam right now. I oh, Sam dude, I get it eight Pierce. times a day, dude. Oh my god, it's not possible, bro. It's not possible. So well, but, go ahead, John. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna do a plug for the next thing. So you have a follow up question, you should ask it. Oh no, well, I don't know why this just popped in my head, but. You guys permanently benched Ian, right? Like no questions asked. Just he had a bad series, and you guys just benched his ass. Just you're just done. I. <laughs> Why'd you ask it like that? Yo, I because they because Damon quit, and then Proto was starting, and I was like, all right, fuck yeah, I Ian just benched, bro. Yeah, like you're just not gonna work with this. I don't know how to put this answer without. Say it. Nah, bro. We you deserve know, answers, you, you though, honestly. You wanted, you wanted okay. to team. Okay. Wait, okay. hold on. Okay. Team okay. Another yeah, thing is, okay. you guys it, are it, always it, tweeting it, and it, talking it. about broadcast how we're coming at you guys, but you yeah. need to explain to us this enable situation because we don't actually fucking understand why he's I not know, I fucking done this fucking podcast. Um, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> so, <laughs> when Ian got benched at the event, he came back with like fucking a week and a half of practice dude like we got shit on he hadn't played the game he came into a 100 percent broken system and he played badly because he was supposed to play badly bro he's not gonna come back and drop a 1.2 he played poorly my whole team lost full and we're like fuck it we're playing with casey like we have more reps with him we're better at snd with him like we know what we're doing on the map at all times like we scrum at the end for one week all this shit and we were just like fuck it let's play with the- let's play with casey again so we put casey back in and then at this point we had benched Ian twice. He hasn't scrimmed. I'm not even gonna count the time that he came back because that was literally a way I could have not scrimmed and made more progress. <laughs> so he came back and it was a waste of time. So we brought him back twice. And at this point we're like, dude, it's so unfair to this guy, like to to keep him coming back over and over and over and over and over again. And I talked to him about it. Like I'm not gonna say what was said because that's between me and him. But he was just like, dude, like this is a really fucked up situation. I don't want to, you know, like just his mindset right there. I was like, okay, like I'm not going to like, I cannot have like a good state of mind bringing him back again. So what, what? happened? Bro, he, he, nah, what dude, happened was, he, 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 you expect him to come back with no practice for like five really months bad. and do well, bro. Like, I mean, it's I like Proto has been practicing getting, more. I'm getting absolutely shit on. Stop bringing me back because you're just fucking up my stock going into next year. Literally. That's probably, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's the best way I could put it. Like stop that's bringing me back, way, bro. Yeah. When yeah. you were explaining that, I was like, "What is Sam?" <laughs> that's saying? the yeah, that's the yeah. TLDR, what John said. Stop bringing me back. I look like ass because y'all are horrible. Well, like, that makes, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> that's yeah, that's the best way I could put it. Stop bringing me back because y'all suck. I didn't mean to put you on the spot there, but I just needed to know nah, because yeah, when good. we talk about enable on stream, I get actual tweets and like Slack will come in the team speak and be like, Aunt, "You're a dick," and I'm like, "What?" Like I don't know the yeah. dynamic. So yeah. now that you've told me that, it's yeah. Real. That's all we needed to hear, Sam. <laughs> that, that whole situation is real fucked I mean, up. Bro. You, know, you should know, Ant, yourself how important your stock is in Call of Duty. Like, oh, it yes. goes the wrong direction. If you're certain people, there's, there's no getting it back. I got my stock smoked by Aix, dude. It happens, bro. 
Well, here's one thing though, Sam. Your stock's so high I'm that it like, won't even be affected by like this year. I feel like people still. Well, I don't. I don't care about my stock. I care about fucking playing well and doing well and winning. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about my stock. I just want to. I don't win. think Sam. Sam's ab above the stock question. I literally yeah. just want to fucking win. And beat someone other than the gorillas. Like ten to twelve Call of Duty players who avoid the stock thing no matter what happens with their team at any given point. So it's like, okay, Ken's getting shit on. Kenny's getting shit on. Next year, you'll be like, who do you want to play with? i like, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, yeah, it's definitely facts. I don't yeah, know. Dude. I just, like, I don't really care about, like, the public's perception of me. I just want to win, bro. That's like, really sitting here, quality. fucking losing. I, like, can I just, like, can I just say that out loud? I'm probably going to start breaking down, bro. I have not beat a single roster this year other than the Gorillas in a series and that matters. And you went from being dominant. Yeah, we bro. know. We know, like, bro. Bro, for, like, I'm so, at least, like, your mental boom, bro. <laughs> Sam, you know what's crazy is I go into your series, like, expecting you to lose, which is bro, a crazy you, statement. Bro, you had us win in the event. Well, now going <laughs> forward, I'm having y'all lose in every match. He was the only one that had that. So I, I was I had us in finals. That was, I, even before that prediction, I had that as a crazy expectation, bro, like a crazy I prediction. Can't. And I was hoping I'd be right so bad. Just because it would have been wild. I was, yeah, I was hoping you were right but, too, because uh, then that'd be some crazy gas. But, but shit, I thought I that I could that spark well. the fire underneath you guys to make you guys go hard and oh, take man. home the dub. I hate yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean you know, next, uh, you know, next event we got, um, you know, Atlanta, Dallas, and Minnesota, oh, yeah. so we can make something happen. Really you know what I'm saying? Like, come out hot before you catch fire, real quick. Yeah, first series I, against Atlanta. It's you know? possible, you know, but yeah, it's possible. <laughs> it's, no, it's not possible. You guys, you guys are chalked up, brother. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but in real though, everybody goes to champs. So you know, if you get the champs, you can make a run. It's, it's definitely Shit, a bro. champs. That is, oh, that I, is I don't even have. For, for I don't even have Damon no more, bro. Fuck. That's the one thing that you can continue to have hope for, though, is that you will be at champs no matter what, right? So like, I got, I got absolutely no champs. Now. Wait, do you guys have fifty points or something like that? Right? Yeah, so, forty. How, oh shit, you guys only. We got more than the gorillas. Okay, I don't. What What do you have to be to start in winners? Uh, I think top. What place is it? I'll tell you right now. Ooh, I think it's top six. Oh, that's chalked. No, yeah, that's that's pretty chalked. Yeah, that's super chalked. Top six. I mean, no, yeah. Black said it's top, top eight. eight. Top eight. Top, top eight. eight. Not uh, oh yeah, no, we got that, bro. We'll top eight is Atlanta. not chalked. You're only twenty points out of top. Yeah, eight. no, hundred percent. Yeah, we'll beat Atlanta, and then we'll beat Minnesota or Dallas, and then Wait, we're in there. Honestly, the is, you're, yeah, 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 guys. What is the next event called? Is it Seattle? Minnesota. Hey, Minnesota. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Well, when you guys go to Minnesota, you guys, you guys, you guys are fucked. You play Atlanta it's first match. It's rough. What's up, John? What's your, even, as, I, even as a good team, you guys have a rough bracket. Yeah. As a shit team. We literally have the two of the top three teams in the game in our pool. Yeah. That, that's, that's tough. You're, like, praying that, that Minnesota doesn't, like, you know, show up and be good online and win. You guys are losing that Atlanta tough. match. But, you know. That ass? But like, like <laughs> Shit. All right, well. Unless the meta just changes, like, like there's just a random update, like tomorrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, truly. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna do a plug for <laughs> call-ins real quick. Yo, if you guys want to do call-ins and ask Sam, me, or Pac-Man a question, exclamation point call-in in the chat. It'll tell you how to do it. You join the Discord, and we're gonna be taking like ten people in here to ask a question, anything you want to ask, and uh, we'll answer it to the best of our ability. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there's, 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 there's gonna be some bullshit in here, bro. Oh. Like. Sam, are you well, good? You I, want us people, to dial people, it? Yeah. Gonna, there's going to be some chill. Like, why'd you get shit on in World War II champs with optic? Like, there's going to be some. There's All right, hold on, Sam. Yeah, I think you explained that in great detail before. Sam, I have. I came on here right and super now. ranted, bro. You're spiraling right now, Sam. Let's I'm, spiraling. I'm spiraling. I'm spiraling. I'm spiraling. Let's dial it back, dude. Moving. I'm sorry for the neighbor All good. question. Hey, you, I mean, good, they did push back the tournament one week, so like yeah. you could have been playing Atlanta tomorrow. That's pretty wow, good. Thanks, Sean. That's that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, it is. You get an extra week of practice with pros. Facts. You're absolutely right, bro. What are you, you talking need, about? You need, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not lying. You're absolutely I'm right. A glass half full type of guy. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate that. No, bro. you're not. You're not a glass half full type of guy. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Oh, um, don't be a fucking brick ant. Like, next thing I want to talk about. Next thing I want to talk about, John, is Sam's content. You've been grinding content. Oh, yeah, he's been um, killing it. I got to salvage the year, bro. Yeah, what? so that's the second part of my question, though. Start off, like, do you think, like, not performing has inspired you to go harder on content to realize what life might be like after 
You know, when you play board chips. No, you seriously. Think I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Are you retiring? No, uh, no, it's serious because I had that thought too. Like when my teams were doing as well, I was like, Shit. I need to, I need to start going hard on content because I don't know how long this, this, this can last for. Is that an actual uh, thought in your mind? Because I feel like you and I are uh, going hard. No, but like <laughs> I, I gotta make myself feel better about this year in some way. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna start doing YouTube again, and then that's kind of just what, like, and quarantine hit, so I was bored as shit. So like I was, I gotta entertain myself somehow. I gotta be productive in some way because God knows we're not getting it done with COD. So I was just like, fuck it, dude, I'm gonna start YouTube again, and then that's basically just where it started. Mm. You gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna stop, right? You're just gonna keep grinding. Don't stop. Yeah, I mean, I'm already, you know, I'm up here at this point, so fuck it. <laughs> what do you mean I'm I, up here at this point? I gotta keep going, bro. I, I'm, oh, I'm okay, actually okay. like, this is the first time I've ever like seen. Right? I've, I've done YouTube a bunch of times in my life, and I've never like seen traction like I have now. You're so now it's just like, I gotta keep going. You just started sure. grinding the stream again too, right? Streaming's different. I'm, I'm like super back and forth with that. I'm really bad at like time management when it comes to streaming and YouTube and scrims. It's just like I get super overwhelmed mentally when I like do all of them. So I, I usually like pick one between YouTube and streaming and then like do that. Yeah. I feel like you select an app all started to like stream and like make videos and stuff now. Like you're like, let's just do something good with this year. Are you guys going to continue to like stream scrims and shit just to like have some content? Oh, we haven't, we haven't streamed scrims at all. Okay. Well, I thought you guys, we did, we did it. We like, did it when we were losing full. Cause okay. we were again, like they were just like, yeah, fuck it. Let's stream scrims. Mm. But all right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think that's happening. Go ahead. Are we taking calls? Yeah. I was going to get ready to take some call-ins cause we got people on the discord right now getting ready to come in. So I'm going to go up here. Um, Sam, can you see the Collins request? And you can just type in that chat if there's any question you don't want to answer. But I'm going to make you a moderator in Discord so you can see. So there you go. And then you should have the chat at the top that says <clears throat> Collins request. Yeah. All right. Um... <laughs> Uh, for those of you who want to join for the call-ins, exclamation point call-in. Censor in, in Seattle would be lit, Sam. What are your thoughts? Sense. Yo, Doug was gassing the shit out of me on stream the other night. He's like, bro, you just need someone to run in front of you and drop a point eight, but give you a 1.4, bro. Like, I can be that. Like, me and Brian, undefeated in finals. Like, I could be that. He was gassing the shit out of himself. Bro. I was vibing. <laughs> All right. That's, I mean, they are undefeated in finals. The problem is when they don't get there, they get, like, 16th. But, you know. Yeah, but when they get there, though. <laughs> when they get there, they are on Come point. On, man. You guys... But when they get there, <laughs> All though. right, so we have our first call in, bro. <laughs> our first call in, Pancake Nips. What up? Nice. Dude? Pancake Yo, what's Nips. what's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing, How you? brother? Good. How you guys doing? What's up, bro? Why is I your gotta... what, Pancake up? Nips, bro? Uh, Well, my gamer tag used to be Chubby Sausage when I was, like, 14. And then uh, uh, I got banned. So then when I was 15, I made it Pancake Nips. And then it hasn't changed. That's a good backstory. A lot of maturity over those years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, seven years later, it doesn't seem like a great idea, but, you know. Hey, you, you can, can always change it. I'm just saying. St nah, bro, yeah, stick to your guns. You know stick to your guns, Nips. What's your question, bro? Uh, I was actually going to ask you, Sam, if you think the, the GA of Merc is going to have any, like, large impact on the gun meta at all. Like, no. there are other guns like the Growl. Or the, <laughs> I saw Growl and Uzi and stuff, like, getting posted on, like, Tactical Rab and that kind of stuff, but. Yeah, so, like I've seen a lot of a lot of people are using the Uzi. I know Jerry's been using it a lot. I, I think it's like a really fucking good gun because of the the like forty one ammo or whatever it is gives it more damage. But like ten millimeters, they're just the issue. Like that's the problem. Gang a hip fire like the hip fire on the MP five is already god like MP, like Merc is not going to change it at all. Like yeah, people are running around like memeing with the Uzi, but MP five okay. is the MP five. Why didn't you guys get rid of the bullets then? Don't ask me that question, John. <laughs> what else am I supposed to ask? You're the one playing every day. I my he my a, vote. He, he, yeah, his vote was to get rid of it. <laughs> no, you know, my he vote. runs an AR. His vote was demolished. I get, I'm getting ego child by <laughs> Mac Melks across the <laughs> map. They legitimately think they should win the fight too. That's the yeah, crazy. Part they do, and they're taking the chows because <laughs> they win the chows. I can't knock the confidence, dude. I would be stressed playing this game. I can't knock the confidence, man. That's that's truly. When I get shit on, like, I'm not even getting shit on anymore. I'm just, like, getting four bullets across the map by an MP5. Eh, good shot. Well, all right, it's Pancake funny. Nips. Appreciate when you, man. I, when I was coaching Optic, Austin would get killed by a, by a sub across the map and, map, and then I know when he's tired because he would just say their gamer tag out loud. Mm. It doesn't matter who it is. He's like, ha, Dave Padi. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Padi. Dave Padi, huh? All right, bring okay, it Real, real home comfortable home. at home, huh, Dave one, one shot, top pool. <laughs> 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 Dude, oh my god. Pancake Nips, what a guy. 
What a great question out of Pancake Nips. All right, bringing the next one in. Uh, so yeah, our sure. moderator here is FaZe Ben, Ben J. Nism. And uh, he's bringing people in. So there we go. He's got our next one here. Cheek, you've been here every week, man. I keep sneaking Cheek. in here, Cheek. I tell you, I watch every week, man. Much love. I like this guy. Loyal much viewer. Love, much respect. All right, guys. Well, um, this one's for Octane. Naturally. Rapid fire. Easiest kill per team on the CDL. So, that's a rapid ooh, fire. That's like yeah. 10 teams, bro. Can I pull yeah. up the list? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go for it. All and right, you can throw someone on your own team as well if you want to just throw them okay, on Okay, hold on. I gotta pull up a, let me pull up the list. Is there like rosters? The easiest kill in the CDO. I gotta pull up rosters. Oh, easiest I gotta go team by team. Yeah, I gotta go team by team. Yeah, go team, by team. Rapid fire. I gotta pull up the, hold on, I gotta pull up the rosters. Just like, you gotta oh. think about like, who gets shit on, man. Yeah, no, no, you're for sure trying to start shit, but I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, yeah. This is not loyal give it to you. All right, Atlanta. Let's see. Atlanta, oh. Tyler Beasy, that guy's fucking ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Chicago. Mwah. Seth, he's also ass. Dallas. <laughs> online. Wait, what? Dallas not good online? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it's, a it's, 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 still, it's, still. it's a different answer. Uh, online. Clay. Mutineers. I don't know. I don't play those guys. They GA'd me, dude. <laughs> What? Uh, <laughs> oh, you said Clay Bass? Oh, I know what? my next question. I'm just trying to. I'm just starting shit, bro. Um, <laughs> Royal Ravens. <laughs> they, said, like, they said, "What the shit?" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Clay, I said online though. I said online. You're so good online, bro. Don't worry. LAG, all of them. Minnesota. Uh, <laughs> LAG, all of them. That's disrespect. I don't even not know in Minnesota, to be honest. Oh, they do have not. Oh, it was Spart, but they have not on now. Um, I'm just I'm going through all these, bro. My team don't matter. Harris, uh, Zed, Optic, Teach, hundred percent. I got free licks. Yeah, he is. Bro. That kid's free. Eagle Chalice gives licks. it to you for free too. New York bro. is definitely Mac. That. All right, there you go. That's all twelve. All right. Thanks, Thanks Cheek. Thank you, Cheek. Find out who he kills. All the team's best players. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't disrespect shots you like that, man. Come on. I'm, oh, shit. My bad. I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. <laughs> Wait, who is it for uh, Dallas online? Oh, on land. Apologies. On, easiest kill on land. Hinder, bro. What? <sighs> Guy's a liner. <laughs> Yo, bots daily. Uh, what's going man. on, man? Yo, what's good, yes? What's, what's up, up, man? Real chill, I got a question man. for Octane. What's yeah. up, bro? <laughs> Yo, if you can have, like, any COD Pro, what's your dream roster, like, out of everyone? <laughs> uh, can I... 4v4 or 5v5? That's a good 5v5. question. 5v5. Hey, what game? What game? This game? Yeah, you gotta, uh, give, me, you gotta give me a game. It changes. Yeah, trust. this game. Yeah, this, this game. game. Uh, Tyler... Or, no, nah, fuck Tyler, he's ass. We'll do Simp, Cell, Me... Ken and I need like someone that isn't dumb. <laughs> what are you trying to say about your other teammate? <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need like a I need like a backbone to the roster, you know, because you know, we just go that's a whole we just go rogue, bro. We'll go rogue. Select. Yeah, def, yeah, Jerry. I'll put Jerry on there. <laughs> Alright, All right. shoot by the question. Keeping the vibes up in the Seattle surge camp. Yep. Jerry's known for his vibes. Why did it sound like <laughs> Colin was like laying in bed chilling, bro? Yeah, he was oh, oh, shit. Shit. He was, he was shit. Slow, dude. Oh, man. I think Nubsy's in here. Do, should we even let him ask? Yeah, bro. Get Joey yeah, in here. Bro. Let, let Joey come ask a question. Let Joey come ask a question. Dude. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, uh, Coach more. Nubsy. What's going on, man? What's up? What's up, bro? How's it going, guys? Huge fan. Oh, Octane. Up, yeah, yeah, what's up, bro? Nice to see you. Uh, I do yeah. look down the hall for you before you answer this question. Or ask me right, this question. totally. Uh -huh, so, yeah. just kind of question going in, you know, uh -huh. there's been a lot of flack thrown around about your, your coaching staff currently on the Seattle surge, you know. <laughs> a lot of questions here and there, you know, tossed around, accountability, all that stuff. You know, truly, what do you think about that guy? I mean, realistically, at this point, it, it seems like he's on his, his wit's end. So, thoughts? About my, my coaching staff? Yeah, yeah. How's he looking? 
Uh, I, I think fall from grace really sums it up. You know, we, uh, you know, he, he came off, he came off last year, you know, some, some second places, you know, mm -hmm. keeping, uh, keeping Chance Moss in line. And then now it's just, keep it I don't know, man, you don't even show up to scrims anymore. You don't, you wow. don't, you uh -huh. don't wake up. Uh -huh. and it's, mm. it's just, I don't know, man. Fall from grace would probably be the easiest way for me to, to sum it up. Does okay. the coach have any response? I just want to say that Sam gives everyone his best years, and then when I finally have him, he does this to me. So, did you start getting more tweets and stuff after Clay came on the show and said your name? Uh, uh, he, got, he got bullied. Though. So <laughs> originally, what happened? Not yeah. So what happened was I didn't I even cried himself to sleep. Was... I could hear it through the walls. Wait, oh, I didn't man. even know that podcast was like going on. I didn't even know what day it was. And then I Shots got an damn. email on my uh, on my surge email from this random guy, and he was like, "What? I'm not I'm not gonna say exactly what it said because it was actually horrific. I'll send it to you guys, <laughs> but uh, oh, it was violent." And he was like, oh my. "Yeah, don't worry about what these guys say. Don't worry about what that old man Clay says." And I was like, "Whoa, what? I'm watching 90 Day Fiance. Like, what did this guy say?" And I go and I listen to it, and I you know I talked to Clay after because I'm not gonna lie, I was uh. I was pretty mad just because I felt like a lot of the claims were outlandish at the time because there was absolutely nothing to support them. Uh, but, you know, after, you know, hearing the backstory, I've, it's, it's all good. I think accountability is important, but at the end of the day, Me we're just all here to win, right? Me fucking too. What a beautiful oh, we part of that was 90 day fiance, but I'm gonna let that go. <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, we let that rock. I'm kind of heated. Oh, you, hey, you man. Okay. Sometimes that's what you need. You, when your team loses a few tournaments, you a tub of ice cream and some 90 day fiance, bro. I respect it. We got to do it sometimes. All right. Well, I'll get the real questions in here. Loving the show. Octane, a huge fan. Hey, thank you, awesome. man. Thank you. All right. Run the order. All right. Bye, guys. Uh, okay. Remember, call in, guys. If you guys want to ask us or Octane any questions, type it in the chat and you guys can come on and ask some questions. God, I love these call ins, man. They're so fun. I almost just, by the way, I almost just spilled white call over my keyboard. That would have been tragic. As I was trying to get call in. <laughs> Who's next? Right. Hey, Matt, what's hey. up, dude? Pancake hey. 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 nips to Matt. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> All good. So, uh, <laughs> I, mine's kind of a two-parter. So, what's it like living with Joey? Uh -huh. um, and then also, who has more controversial opinions? Joey's food opinions or Ant's cod opinions? Okay, for the for the first one, it's fucking horrible. He doesn't know how to use a microwave. That's like the only thing that I could like sum it up. That's like that's that's all you guys There's need no to know. It's that and, bad, and, dude. And he doesn't know how to boil water, bro. And the second one, I got it. Like Joey's like Joey's food opinions are egregious, dude. Like they really he, are. He, he he said this sentence to me the other day, bro. He goes, "I don't care how the food tastes. All I care about is texture." Like imagine bro. saying that. Like he doesn't care about how his food tastes. <laughs> His opinions are, torn, are absolutely Dude. atrocious. Like he doesn't eat sauce, bro. Dude, I heard a couple of years ago he dick he dipped a hot dog in chocolate pudding. I watched him crush Doritos know. and sprinkle that's, them on top of a hot dog. I watched him crush Doritos and Wait, sprinkle them on top that's of a hot dog. That's foul, brother. No, I watched it. I, he he has eaten multiple times in his life. He has put chocolate chip cookies on burgers. What? That's foul. That's that's the, most the fattest I'm thing I've ever heard. Seen it. That is the fact. I, I gotta see. Oh, <laughs> That's so foul. All right, dude. This went from like a Call of Duty podcast to somehow talking about Joey Nubsy's food choices. First of all, Doritos on hot dogs are absolutely banging. I, I like at the cookout, shit's fire. But a a, a cookie dude, on a burger. I, so his his least favorite food on the planet is pickles. If there is if there is a pickle on the plate. Not even contacting the food. If there's a pickle on the plate, he will not eat the food. Hold on. A so, cookie on a burger. Yes. So, <laughs> so, his, that. so his reaction, some, like when you get him Chick-fil-A, you know, you know yeah, how they put a pickle they on the burger? On there? Yeah. yeah. Or on the, on the chicken sandwich. If there's a pickle on it, he will open it. He will cut the chicken in half so only the top layer is gone. So like the pickle layer, and then he'll cut the bun in half that had the pickle in contact and then eat the, the halves. Like, yo, what? Hey, I don't actually like demons, myself. Like, you just kind of just take off the pickle and eat the sandwich. He's got some nah. demons, dog. Yo, Matt, hey, thank you for the question, brother. Yeah, all good, guys. Have a good day. All right.
I shook that man's hands and he puts cookies on chocolate <laughs> chip cookies on burgers. No way, who said that? <laughs> Shady. Nah, that's different. Think about that shit, Shady. Uh, yo, oh, first of all, a cookie on a burger is disgusting, but that's also so hefty, bro. That's the heftiest thing I've ever heard. I get yo, how do you pronounce your name, dude? Um, Ente. It's like that Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, Wait, that's yeah. fire. That is. <laughs> yeah, right now. Like that. What's up? Uh, First of all, Octane, huge fan, probably my favorite AR since like AW. So I shout out to you. Second of all, um, I want to ask you. So Florida picked up Awakening. I know that LAG tested out with Spart. Has Seattle looked into picking up any top AMs to like from UIU or anything like that? Uh, numerous different occasions and numerous different players, and every single one of them has fallen through. Damn, it seems chalked. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, Sam, which ones did you guys look at, if you can speak on it now? Sam that... just spiraled. <laughs> oh, poor Sam. Yeah, Yo! He said, he, said, he said, damn, shit's chalked. <laughs> Bro, that? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's never chalked. All that matters is what you think. It's never fucking chalked. No, no, I mean, I'm you, a huge Seattle fan. Like, no, bro, you're good. You're good, bro. Don't, don't worry I about mean, it. I mean, if you're kind of mind as a huge Seattle fan, though, that's got to be horse. Yeah, bro. Nah, he has to be. He came in here with, he came in here with the fire, bro. He has to oh, be. Oh, but, like, you can't. A huge Seattle fan? Seattle I see a huge fan. That's crazy, you know, right? Octane, Octane carried me to this team because if it wasn't for Octane, bro, I would not fuck with Seattle at all. Hey, what's up, bro? I'm a huge Octane fan. That's fair. That's more fair. Hey, nigga, it's like, like, kind of a bond. He's like my LeBron. LeBron! All right, all right. All right. It's Thank you for joining the call. Yeah, we can play some more It's all fun with you. Yo, you got a question, Ante? I dragged What's him out. Bro? It was a good question, but I dragged him out. I can't be having a comparison. Yo, yo no, bring him back. I had a, I had a question for you. All right, you're back, Ante. You got it. That, that, that was a ridiculous statement. But right. Oh, back. my God. I just got a LeBron comparison. I got to come here more often, All right, he's bro. back. Hey, Sam. I mean, because, like, my friend, uh, I don't know if you know, you've ever heard of him, Teske. He's a good friend of mine. He's my IRL, and uh, he's a top am right now. I mean, he was pretty, he was a lot better in BO4, but his stock <laughs> definitely dropped in Modern Warfare. And he was telling me, like, a lot of beef that goes on in the AM scene. I was just like, a lot of these players could give you getting picked up because, I mean, like, at least on for online because they're kind of fire online. I mean, Lance, different story. Yeah, online, Lance don't matter anymore, brother. Right. I mean, like, Awakening, he was telling me he only got picked up because he's good at online. So I was kind of like, maybe Seattle could do something like that. I mean, there like I'm, uh, there's been a lot of discussion, man, and there's been a lot of options, and I mean, like it's just... just a Mac, right? Yeah, I'm playing. Yeah. All right. Let's get to the next question. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, NT, yeah. thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. It. Yeah. Anytime, man. Big fan. Peace. All right. Hey, LeBron. The fuck. Hey, I, I fuck with that. I hey. dragged him out immediately. Hey. <laughs> Changing my fucking name, Serge LeBron. <laughs> Holy All right, shit. yo, wait, what? Pancake nips? How'd you get back in? What's been? Oh, I'm back, back, my ass back in here. All right, what's up, man? Listen, I just heard like five minutes of disgusting eating habits from mm -hmm. Joey Nubsy. So mm -hmm. I want to hear some good opinions from you, all three of you. What's your go-to Postmates order for dinner? Postmates, whatever I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, right? Postmates like every single day. I don't know. Like, if you like, what's your go-to? You know what I mean? Dude, I don't know. Uh, really hey, you want to go first, bro? Just say your favorite meal, bro. Because sushi. It's a little different out here. Sushi. Uh, okay, mine's also sushi. Uh, mine's sugar, sugar fish specifically. I was gonna say like sushi. That's what a are, wide range. Sugar fish is fire. What are, what yep. Sam's rich. I, I've never posted <laughs> it. Like seventy-seven dollars. That shit is crazy. Hey, don't know what I'm doing. Hey, <laughs> rock. Mine's some sort of pasta, I guess. Like uh, you know. All right, Pedro. You know, out here. It's fire. Appreciate you. I live in Canada. So we only have like Uber Eats and skip the dishes. We don't really be getting like DoorDash or Postmates or anything like that. So I just wonder if it was different for you guys. It's the same know? thing. All right. I'm going to get it's some COD questions in here. Pancake. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Grub up. Use code CDL. Guy said, Guy said, what do you order from Postmates? The fuck, I live in the middle of nowhere, bro. I use Grubhub. <laughs> hey, what's, that, what's that CDL segment with Grubhub where they just like tell you what's there? Okay. Who's next? Uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, six more people left. All right, all right. <laughs> Yo, Milak. What How's up? it going, boys? What's up, dude? What's up, bro? Uh, huge fan of you guys, by the way. Uh, question for Octane. What do you think it'll take for your team to get better and possibly win one of the three <laughs> we have left? <laughs> um, other than, like, a miracle? Um... 
changing, changing our our outlook on practice and actually like taking it seriously and like attempting go. to get better and like unchalking it probably. Do you think <laughs> that's the mindset of your team like, right now? Like, is... I mean, with Nick, with Nick, it's like definitely health because he's he's coming in with with the passion and he was like yelling at us for not calling out today, which was absolutely hilarious. So you're, yeah, your, sub, your substitute. Former yeah. amateur was the one. Came in with, came yeah, in with yeah, the fire, bro. He, bro, there was the first map of the day. First map of him playing on our team. We, he ends <laughs> the map ends, and he goes, "Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing." <laughs> 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 I was like, "Fuck yeah, Nick, let's go, dude." So, what about yeah, know, right. how has how has Slack been in practice since? How has uh, Jerry been in practice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us the truth. Tell us great, your truth. Great your question, time. John. Yeah, Jerry. Uh, Jerry takes practice super seriously. Mm. Um. You know, it's ever since uh, ever since we switched to uh, to online, you know, yep. we, he wakes up every day with a smile on his face and he puts that, yeah. his best foot forward. Uh-huh, 100%. Wow, Slack has been good. the worst teammate ever, from what I just heard. What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's all good. You get it. <laughs> what is the <this> smile? <laughs> <laughs> is Jerry in chat? Wait, is Jerry still in chat? Oh, man. I mean, like, thank you for the question, man. I'll talk to you. Thank you, guys. What's up, Marky B? Chat anymore. Marky B. All right, our next call in should be here very shortly, guys. Oh, what's up, Shady? How are you? Hey, how's it going, guys? My brother Shady, here. what's up, man? Uh, uh, yeah, you, guys, you guys headsets work? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, make sure they make sure they. You guys, talk to you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not worried. I'm off the clock. I'm off the clock, damn. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big fan of the show, by the way. Love what you guys do. Sam, huge fan. Mm. Tough season, Likewise. though. Tough season. Hey, you know, um, it happens. <laughs> it happens. It happens to the best of them. Yeah. Um, so my sure. question, my question is, what are your current views on the first year of franchising, and what would you like to see change for the future of CDL? Hmm. I think that question, the structure needs to be revisited for events. I don't think that having individual home series is something that Call of Duty needs to have. I respect the idea and I respect the attempt, but I think that having open events and like a, an open event atmosphere was like the lifeblood of Call of Duty and it's been for years and years and years. And like straying away from that and like not having every event at every team and just like restructuring how events are put on and, and they happen, just like it. I'm not really a huge fan of it. Uh, you know, obviously it's the first year. I'm not gonna, you know, bash it, but I think that it needs to go back towards an open system and just like have every team there, like big prize pool. That that kind of a thing. few more with more t- with well, all the teams there, right? If you have no, you can't have franchising and an open system though, right? Yeah. You can't. Well, I, I mean, like, teams lose to UYU. There just no, needs I, to be. No, I mean, like similar similar members. to last year, where like you had pro brackets, but they were open events. If that makes sense, mm. like they still like they still felt like open events last year, but they weren't actually open okay. events. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, like right. that. So just the atmosphere of the tournaments is what you're. It's more yeah, like exactly. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that like. Right. People can't get as involved this year. Like I don't know. At least, at least for me specifically. Like when I'm at home watching an event, when I'm not like there for you know because we're not at every event. Like it mm. doesn't feel like it did last year, at least to me. So I mean, well, I would I, say the biggest thing with this year is I feel like we need more. Like all the teams need to be at events other than champs, right? Like absolutely. I think that that's like the hype, most hype thing about this year is that all the teams are at champs. I, I mean, just dude, think we need a few more. It, it creates like the the atmosphere of like legitimacy of event wins it, it, it brings it even more yeah, like, yeah, okay. oh it's like chicago one oh atlanta and dallas weren't there like oh personally yeah. part of probably what makes it not feel like an open event to you is not that the, i mean the open teams are playing like minnesota they were playing in the, the basement or the garage or whatever that's kind of weird that they just weren't even seen i forgot that they were there but also there's been the times where you've gone and lost to like you beat lag and then you lost to dallas dallas yeah and it's like I mean, yeah, we lost, fair, sure enough, but it doesn't feel like before. Because Austin would say that, too, all the time. He'd say, like, th- that would just be us warming up. Like, that was just Friday. We're get- like getting into this tournament, but now you're just out. It's so yeah. quick nowadays. It's just the structure and of the event. Just... Hasn't been based like that, like how, I guess, PC games are kind of like that. In one and done, good, good go. try. One and done, you're out. Give me some get reps, bro. Damn. Yeah. All right. Todd in the past has always been so much more rep-based, like, like you just yeah. said. I think Let's it just get to the next better, call in. better atmosphere for events. Good well, question, thank Shady. You, Shady. Yeah, uh, thank one. you. Uh, you guys keep doing what you're doing. And uh, if you guys have any astro problems, just DM me. All right, dude. Okay, <laughs> Shady. Have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Peace, Shady. Hey, <laughs> 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 guy, Yo, are y'all, uh, everyone good? Hello? We got the next one coming in. Jay Sick, what's up, man? How are you? Yo, I'm good. 
so my question is, if uh, Activision ever decides to make COD a multi-year game, what features and mechanics would be essential for competitive? You mean for like more like a, a game's life cycle longer than one year? Yeah, because I mean like Rank the whole pro party was like All two right. months into the game, so. Got you. <laughs> or it, I think that movement is definitely a top priority. Like being able, to, like as far as the years have gone on, it's gotten worse and worse with like slide canceling and like all this is different, like game breaking mechanic stuff. So I think like going back, if there was a dolphin dive, wow, that'd be great. Um, yeah. Maps, obviously, like maps are the huge. core of Call of Duty. If they're the game is looked fondly upon, it's because of the maps, like nine out of ten times. Spawns. So I think spawns, obviously. So it's just like the core intricacies that every there's no doors. It's just like it's just core things that everyone knows. Everything has that, to be designed in with the mind of that this game is going to be competitive. Competitive, exactly. If it's there, a there needs to be number one a solid perk system. Mm -hmm. That's what, yeah. that, that needs to be number one. So there has to be give and take between the perks. Like if you're running stuns or if you're running stuns or blast suppressor, what the blast suppressor, um, battle hardened or whatever tack mask is, you have to be able to something has to be taken away from your class. Like a good balance, kind of like back Black Ops Two. There can't be yeah. any. Crunch and then there needs to be, in my opinion, if you're gonna have like multi year COD, there needs to be some sort of strategy that can be formed. So you need like yeah. smokes that are actually good smokes, not the ones with circles in them, so people just run through them. You need and, like, I, I, I think Ghost tactics. had something with strong arms. Like you had to take a lot off your class to throw strong arms, stuns, and smokes, think, but it was, it provided strategy to the game. Yeah, I agree. So, with like you. you need you need more than that as opposed to just like let's just hit A that, and that's that's specifically or... like S and D. Like what do you mean about like respawn? Like what well, would respawn, you say? I, feel, I feel like you covered a lot of it. And I think that comes with the perk system though. Well, one, you need three game modes, I think, or two really solid respawn game modes. You think Call of Duty should always stay three game modes? Uh, I think it has to. Uh, my opinion. I don't think. I mean, unless unless you're gonna come up with a game that has like 20 maps, and is, with yeah. like 12 viable competitive maps, you're gonna need three game modes. Yeah. You yeah, can't play three hard points on this game. What What's the last Call of Duty where you could actually legitimately play three hard points in a series? Bo three. Bo three probably right. Actually, yeah, Bo three. I think Bo three you could. Bo three yeah, is definitely... godlike. We talked like, about that's, that's, episode. Yeah, that's like the last one. So you, yeah. I, so I think you're always gonna need three modes. Hell, I'd even be. I mean, nah, it would never happen. But if there was a COD where you could play like boots, game one, every jet game pack, besides game three, pack, and then jetpack jet game three, that'd be like, <laughs> yeah, that'd be like. Just play pack, like play like AW comeback uplink game three. Oh man. my god, <laughs> dude, it'd be lit. That would be kind of cool. If, if I got to play jetpack uplink again, man. Oh my god. You know, if you could just veto like. Uh, we're vetoing AW game three. Like fuck. All right, we'll play Black Ops right. three. <laughs> play, 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 play Fringe Link. Fuck. Jason, right, <laughs> I'm just gonna end this with ranked, bro. Start there, and we'll move. We'll, we'll go from there. Oh, well, right. that's a completely yeah, that different. Yeah. Uh, yo, that's a feature. Yo, Jason, thank you, man, for the question. That was a good one. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. Control slapped. No, it didn't. But okay. We have one more question, and then we have three uh, oh, read shit. questions from. <laughs> Yo, TSL Fury, what's up, man? What's going on, brothers? How y'all? What's up, brother? Really? Wonderful. All uh, right, Sam, I've got a question for you. So basically, uh, how'd you make to the top, and uh, how'd you get noticed? Uh, I was really, really, really good online. I guess you could call me a warrior in uh, AW and like ghosts and when I back in those days, and then uh, <laughs> I went to events and like. Basically played the exact same. I just like shot really straight. That's kind of all I do. And then um, I made my way up through like the AM scene of like noticing that I wasn't completely horrible at Call of Duty. So I like went from you know, like a top 24 team to a top 16 team to a top 12 team. And then uh, eventually after placing like top 12 in back in like an open atmosphere, that was like what actually was like top 12 was like a good event even for an AM team. So um, I did that at UMG Orlando. Oh, Danny's in chat. He absolutely beat my ass that Sunday morning. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I just I just kept playing online really really well. It translated to land. I moved up teams, and then uh, Zinni eventually asked me to be on a relegated pro league spot, and that's where there you happened. go. And that's I appreciate it, brother. I've always I've always wondered how everybody makes it to the top because like in my predicament, I haven't. 
actually, okay, just a little shout out. I'm, I'm in the Air Force, so I got to serve my contract before I can start competing again. So I just always wonder what's the best way back to the top. So I appreciate it, brothers. There we go, man. Yep, Have a good service, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, man. I the well, thing is, I think nowadays it's actually easier to get picked up on a good team. Hundred percent. You had to like, you had to prove yourself over and over again. Bro, and, if like, you if you slide cancel up. if you slide cancel Lamar <laughs> off a of heady, you're like in the league, bro. Yeah, so right like, away. I mean, right is now is the best time ever because it's yeah. online, bro. You just like you start frying, dude. Like, yo, just, we need that dude, guy. Yeah. And you just get bro, picked up. I have, even, I have never packs. heard of so many people in it like until this year. And I'm literally playing against them in the league now. Like I trust me, we're crazy. watching, brother. They don't have to beat other pros. They like beat other M's and then it's they prove that they're a good M team and then they scrim a pro team and then like who the fuck is that kid? Like, right? <laughs> yeah. It's just way easier nowadays in my opinion. Shout to Mac. Absolutely, bro. Good. Mac so. is horrible, dude. No <laughs> bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, yo, Nocturnal, what's up, dude? You're, what's up, brother? What's up, man? Wow, you got a good mic, dude. What is that? Uh, it's the Rode. Oh, Rode. Brandon, my God. What's up, bro? Yeah, it's the oh. Sammy. Oh, it's got literally a Navy SEAL, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> yo, my real question is, like, uh, anybody can ask this question. Um, Why hasn't Haggy actually been picked up? Because, uh, he, like, he grinds a lot. You know what I'm saying? I know people don't like him as a person because of what he's done, but, like, he's a really good player. And I see pros, like... I see pros gassing him on Twitter, but nobody vouches for my man, you know? Yo, y'all's reaction are comedy. This is all <laughs> you guys. This is no, all this you guys. This no, bro, he didn't, he didn't specify. A, yo, heck, he's in the chat. Heck, he's in the chat. He didn't specify <laughs> who to answer, so this is on y'all. Yeah, so, I, didn't, I didn't specify. Anybody can answer this question. Oh, because, yo. Because uh, Haggy's been playing since 2001, <laughs> and he's burnt a lot of bridges. Yep. And also, in general, in general, it's harder to get picked up as a player that's been around longer. People are more willing to give a chance to a guy that they know very little about yeah, that's been frying. That's, that's facts. Like, they'll give a chance to Spart before they give a chance to Haggy, even though Haggy's better than Spart. They just know, they just more than likely know what they're going to get out of Haggy. And he's a guy that's been around. Haggy said, choose your words wisely. Like, what? Okay. Yeah, like, what? Hold on. Choose your words wisely. What are you talking about? Haggy has burnt so many bridges in the community oh in one way or the other that people are less likely to take a chance on him. He has his friends and he has his the like core people that like him and know as a, at his core that he's a good person or whatever it is, but you have to weigh picking up Haggy against what he can possibly do to your team. Kind of like how I guess Sam was saying about Gunless earlier. It's mm -hmm. like Haggy has been that way with many teams in the past, and they don't feel like he's frying like Gunless is frying. So it's like it's the trade off why, isn't worth it to a lot of people. That. Why yeah, do you it's pick him up too often? As to else. Yeah. And also, that, all the people that were struggling with your team. All the people that would pick him up to their teams is like low key retired, so <laughs> it's like tough for him now. Um, oh my God, bro. I, yeah, because I mean, even dating I mean, back to when I was playing, he, he was he was in those positions. On UIU though, bro, he he's been. Yeah, I know. He's, 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 I, don't think, I don't think anyone thinks that Haggy's bad. Not like really bad. It just why would you why would you pick him up and add him to your team? I mean, he's he not like a. He would have to be disgusting for somebody exactly. to pick him up right now because of how he's. Just been in the past, people. It's too big of a risk. I mean, you got to think about it. We just talked about it, like, what, 30 minutes ago, how hard it is to make a change right now. So you didn't go yeah. through that much stress and make that tough of a change, like picking somebody up and then he said, have you seen the result in what's happened the last 20 times? It's like, that's why people haven't done it. I, I feel like. <laughs> Have you seen my SMG? I just, I just, I just hope to see my man back in the scene, like at the top, you know, because he, wow. my man's been grinding, dog. That's good gas, Brandon. That's, That's good, good gas. Good gas. Yeah. I, 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 always I hope gas. he makes it back up there, too. That's my friend, man. Above all, but he's done. And your girlfriend's aren't way, safe. He's the last one <laughs> <of the> before, bro. <laughs> he's done too much I to him, so. coming eventually. He's, one, he's the last out of the four, bro. Everybody else is uh gone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't hit me at all. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't uh, believe he's I mean, the last out of the Haggy's not being on teams with no wives, bro. No wives. <laughs> All right. All right. Yo, Nocturnal, thank you for the question, dude. Yeah, for sure, brother. Have a nice night. Wow. Haggy on the surge would be fucking Wait, had a yeah. uh, That's exactly why we can't pick him up. <laughs> why do I feel like that was a coordinated uh, question right there? Yo, ha yo Haggy slid him a five star. Like, I think Haggy, 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 Haggy. Haggy's never come in the chat during the podcast. Yeah. He knew that guy. No, no, he was just here. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, sure. Get five on there and pick, give, give me a league spot. <laughs> paid actor. <laughs> That's a paid actor, bro. Well, Haggy, I have seen the stream popping off, man. That's nice. Continue. Yeah, to do I was that. crying on stream, bro. Haggy, that's passion, bro. I respect the fuck out of that. I, I was Pure in there, passion. bro. I was trying to gas him up. He was trying to scrim, and I was like, nah, fam. Talk to chat. Yo, 
What's Yo, going guys. on? Uh, ch- ch- I don't want to say your name. Chit ass. Chit. Yeah. Shit ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit's yeah. ass, bro. Come on. Shit's bro. ass. Shit's ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yo, my question goes to to Octane. Um, you guys on the first ever like mid series substitution, but everyone in the chat was typing it. What was the actual reason behind not using Teddy Rex, or have you tried that? You might as well try it because I'm not gonna lie, team. Apart from apathy, they're just ass to search. <laughs> <laughs> yo, why did I come on here, bro? <laughs> that's good gas that's actually good getting never mind take that cancels out so you want to know why we don't play with teddy because yeah what is it never mind, he might, right? I mean, what was he that might be an s and d star because teddy rex is fucking buns all right yo don't make him all say right, that never mind. Sam, Sam, answer the question I'm not don't make him say that shit's ass I, I mean, I, I'm not. This is no knock to Teddy, but if it comes down to it, on stage in a pro league environment, and you're in like a one v one, and you've literally never been in the league and never played professionally, like I don't trust that. Yeah, like, even if that I'm, works. even if I'm ass, and even if my whole team is ass, according to shit's ass, like <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking, I'm taking slack to the one v one. I mean, yeah, come on, like, is it really that? Like no one v one. You from the, like no one v1. you got to think from the people yeah, Sam's hard. teamed with and played against and done like. <laughs> He he has a right to not want to play with somebody who hasn't competed at a yeah, top bro. level. People, like that, people, you know? people have been roasting me for not playing with Teddy. Like, who the fuck? Like, what, bro? Yeah, who are you to say that? <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, you're Cheek's brother, right? Wait, yeah, Jen, yeah, wait, yeah, Jen, yeah, I Jen, I, Jen, I, I, Jen, I, I might take you in a one on one, bro. What do you mean? <sighs> I might take shit's ass in a one v one for Seattle. Oh shit! I start shooting back and starts piping up again, bro. I can't believe it. Yo, that was dormant wait. for months. Dormant you know the guy earlier months. that called you LeBron? That's his brother. Yeah, free cash. Let's go. Yeah, it's cheek and shit's out, ass, bro. dude. They're, they're the homies, yeah, we'll team team. Wait, why do I feel like you're the same person just on a different name? No, no, no. I can, I can drag him upstairs. I can drag him upstairs. What okay. the right, Which right. win? Which win? Which okay, win? Okay. All right. All right, bro. Have a good one. <laughs> That's crazy, Jerry. He just came in here. And, he just came in here at your throat, bro. That's crazy. There's been a wide range of Seattle Surge fans or haters. This is. Yeah. I went from LeBron, LeBron, your team is dog shit. Dog. <laughs> Holy. All right, There's yo, Ben, you there? Yeah. Man. What's up, dude? It's so, fine. first question. I guess it's not really a question. It's a prompt, and and you know, Sam, feel free to tell the story if you want. Mm-hmm. Mike in the chat mentioned about an infamous flight that you and him were on once, and that uh, something happened to a passenger. A flight? Yeah. I actually don't even know. What, I actually don't know what you're talking about. Well, there goes that. No bullshit. I actually don't know what you're talking about right now. So, if I mentioned in the chat that there was a flight that you and him were on, and some guy had a heart attack once. Okay. I feel like I feel like I'm getting like trolled right now. Like this is like a Twitch I, troll. I guess you're getting trolled. Like, I'm about to get like D's nuts or something. Like I I I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I think I'd remember somebody having a heart attack. Yeah, I don't remember a dude having a heart attack on my plane. All right, Ben. Next one, dude. All right, well, that's a bonk of fight. Uh, let's see here. Face Ben, bro. <laughs> so we have another question uh, from Zay. And this is not this is not really related to um I guess kind of like topical in the league. Um question from Zay is what would it take for Spark to get another chance on LA Gorillas? Shock for this year. He got shit on way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I he, think bro, he, he did had a lot of time. And, and also there's chance. nothing there's nothing for him to do. Like what can he even go do? There's nothing for him he hasn't like he can't. He already had his chance and he didn't seize it, so there's nothing you can do. That's yeah, as an, that as an bro, it wasn't it, coming up. You couldn't ask to have more time. Yeah, hundred like, percent. You really, you really couldn't. It's you got events on events, dude. That is the end of that. There's no other answer to that. Yeah, they. they I don't. I don't even think. Dude, Cherry's talking shit to shit's ass, dude. Uh, yeah, to Jerry, answer you in the chat. To what answer you in the it? chat, Trayvon. They uh, they're alternating like event finals casters, so different uh casters different finals um what's the next one ben so uh last uh last question uh this one is from uh sway and uh sam he asked uh he saw that there was some chatter on twitter uh from your coach and some other associated personnel that you guys are blacklisted and he was wondering if that was a joke or if there's actually something Definitely not a joke. Teams. Wait, really? most certainly not a joke wait what are the details of it 
we don't get scrims anymore because either we're ass or we were never on time. So we scrim three pro teams. Uh, yes, that has been a thing for. I mean, two months. <laughs> to be fair, it's a real thing. I had so many scrims booked with Seattle, and then yeah, the okay. day of, Joey would just hit me up and be like, "You know what? Uh, sure. I'm sure you're not surprised, but yeah, Apathy's buying a house or something, and so we're not playing today." Damn, man, right. nobody's understanding. Like, bro, App was having a kid and stuff. Like, come on. I That's, mean, it, that was not the you reason. are. Under, I think every team's understanding a couple times. That's the thing. A couple times, yeah. Bro, there was a there was a statistic that uh that Doug on LAG because I, I guess he just like loves numbers or whatever. There was a statistic <laughs> we played them twenty three times. Of the we were scheduled to play them twenty three times. Of those twenty three times, we played them fifteen, and of those fifteen series, we finished every map four times. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. pathetic. We're super duper blacklisted. Like Zinni is doing a great job of like getting you guys in line. Why does he have that? Why does he have that stat? <laughs> that, that's Doug, dude. I don't know. He's how bored. <laughs> it's not Joey's fault, bro. We're all grown ass men. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, his responsibility yeah, to make you that up is for your sad, job, dude. What the cool. fuck was happening, bro? Why the fuck were you guys I'm, not getting I'm not, it? I'm not getting into it, bro. Not okay, that's fair. I was like getting the doms, and it's like no one's trying to finish St. Petro. We hit we hit Petro, and we're. Shocking. That's sad, brother. It's crazy. Well, yeah. do we have any more ben? questions? We have, we have one more question by a special guest. Let's, Let's again. go. Who's our special guest? Oh, Looney, what's up, dude? Oh my God, what's up, Dan? Oh, big fan, guys. What's up, Dan? Yeah, this, this is pretty much stealing from Cheen's tweet. Best main AR in the in like one game. Like if you just best main AR ever, but just in one title. He said Cap mm. Black Ops One has been the best main AR we've ever seen. I didn't All play right. I didn't play Cap. Uh, yeah. Let's stick with Modern Air. Black Ops 2 and Forward. <sighs> I give you Formal. Fucking, um, <laughs> um, there it is. Uh, that's honestly probably the answer. No bullshit. What? IW, IW Formal? IW Formal? Slasher yeah. swears up and down that he was the best player at that game. He was the best player at the end of the year. He wasn't the best player at that game. Mm. Also was ass at that game. Prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Black Ops for Octane, bro. Black Ops I mean, for Octane. Me is pretty good. Um, I think IW Formal. Like, if you're, if it's like super specific, not game wide, I'd go like end of Bo3, end of IW Austin, like Bo4 me, like IW Champs Matt. Like, you get super, like super duper specific with shit. Like, you get like AW Clay. Oh, what you're saying, like one of yeah, the, uh, yeah, one of the, like Champs AW Clay. Like, yeah. like peak AR performance is like Champs Matt. For sure, like AW Clay obviously was up there. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of different candidates for sure. Well, Actually, all right. I, I was thinking about that when I saw Gene's tweet. I was like I was like thinking this out. Yeah, if you do a peak performance, yeah. What about you, Dan? Who do you think? Um, I think I think Slasher IW just because of the bounce back. Yeah, he was like top twenty four Anaheim to go second second. Wait, was that they, they, boot they boot camped after that, right? They all like went to North Carolina and just like tried. He was hard carrying. I'm not team, sure, bro. I think that's when that Austin you're in here was that was that when that was? I'm pretty sure it was. AW formal might have been might might have been. AW formal was, like I I that's that's your long yeah that's your long yeah. Beer. That's play is a good one too. Like, I, I wasn't a I pro for all these W, so like I don't. I, the only time I ever played Matt was when Dan, like you and I were on Team Danny, and like at the towards the end of the year, so like I didn't know how good Matt was at the entire game. Mm. Gotcha. Like, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's flip the question. What's the best as an AR? What's like the hardest sub that you played against at any particular time? Like peak hardest sub performance. Sub? Peak, peak sub performance that you have played against. Uh... I, mean, I was the same answer for this for myself, but. Uh, Which is like the best sub I've ever played again. Come on, I'm talking about blacklist. Um, <laughs> oh, never mind. I'd go <laughs> AW Seth or Kyler, uh, World War Two Pen. So oh, yeah, was... AW, AW Seth and Kyler, <laughs> World War Two Pen, Chris at the end of last year. Uh. John was really good at BO3 too. Yeah, so, I was gonna go with that a, one. A, a Black Ops 3, John was ridiculous. Yeah, BO3, John was crazy. And I'll probably go John. AW Hook. I can't. Pick, I can't pick one of those, bro. Like you, you're, you're gonna tell me you're pick between Seth and Kyler and AW. Where, like, well, what's the hardest team you've ever had to play? The hardest team I've ever had to play is the Optic Dynasty, and for, like easily. AW Optic was ridiculous. Yeah, I, dude, Danny, we got yeah. clapped six six months in a row by Optic. <laughs> no, you know, we got clapped. I got clapped a full year. I went one in fifteen against Optic <laughs> and AW. Yeah, that's tragic. 
I mean, I think Drew May W is a good one too. Tommy A W Tommy is dummy good at it. Second half. I think Kyler 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 was way harder to kill than Tommy. Tommy would like in straight gunfights. Tommy was just like everyone. Tommy had the gunny, bro. No, he did. But like, like, Kyler, Kyler, Kyler was kidding you off the impossible. I think yeah, uh, Kyler was say, the in, best. One v one gunfights in AW. Kyler, Kyler was undefeated in just straight up gunfights. Him and Krim. Right. Wait, hold on. Kyler AW and Krim in like beginning of Ghost and the Black Ops Two were like the two best players. Yeah, I wish I competed then, dude. Like Krim was was end of Ghost was Matt. Krim. End of Ghost Matt was different. Yeah, thing is, well, I mean, is, yeah, the end of Ghost Man I didn't have a problem killing him in that game. I think that his team set him up to the go around. The beginning of Ghost, right? Krim was literally fucking unkillable, bro. Dude, like, that, like, I competed back then, but I wasn't a pro, obviously. Like, I wish that I played in Ghost and BO2 to, like, play against Complexity and, like... You would have got ran, bro. You're right. I would have got ran, 100%. I wouldn't have stand a chance, but I just want to play them. Just All like, right. Well, like I, I, I classed biotic for years, but so like I could, I could talk about it. That would have been able to compete with their team. Their team was just really oh, solid. Yeah. All right. Every time I talk to people, that, good answer. Some good answer. Thanks good for answer. the question, oh, man. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Good question, yeah. Man. All right. Let's get on Val. Let's go. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else uh, you wanted to adjust before we wrap up the episode, Sam? No, I think I'm good, man. We touched on a lot of stuff. We need a weekly Ooh. clown, but uh, I think we decided it was going to be Krim. Clown. Trim, oh, for, that for, horrible, for, for, for horrible, horrible ad, 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 dude. That was literally the worst jacket the whole day. The worst ad, yeah, it literally ruined my I, ass. Oh, I, tweet. I tweeted, I tweeted him. Dana has to love him, bro, because she had to tweet, she had to like feed him and like film and that, film like, it, bro. <laughs> and probably not even one take. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, let's do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crim's the weekly clown for that, bro. What was he eating? Were those tacos? Like, Jack I don't even know, bro. No idea. I don't know. I, I watched it once and I was like, that. And my instant thought was, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. And I'm never going to Jack and Buck. Well, all right, Sam, I appreciate you coming on the show, brother. That was fun, man. Absolutely, man. Pleasure. Thank you, man. Appreciate all you guys coming out. For those of you watching on YouTube, make sure you leave a like. For those that are on Spotify, iTunes, or Google Play, give us a five star. And go check out Sam on his YouTube. I think it's just Octane Sam, right? That is correct. It's just Octane Sam on YouTube mm -hmm. and Twitter. Go check him out. Much love, everybody, on Twitch. And as always, we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.